Hello YouTubers, this is a quick video of, of teardown of the ART voice channel microphone preamplifier. I have been using this unit for several months and decided to open it and have a quick look of what's inside and also to share it with you guys so you will also know. So let I have already took off the screws, so let's open it and have a look of what's going on. Okay, so here I see several layouts of boards for the for the input knobs and the control knobs of the unit. They are layered into several layers. Here I can see the output boards for the, the rear microphone entry and the effects connectors and there, if I can see, here is the chip to process the USB it sits close to the computer inputs and outputs and what can I see straight away about this unit is how beautiful the layout on the PCB is made of uh, you can see that all the components are aligned, the diodes, the, res the resistors everywhere, even here the encoders for, for the gain uh, display are perfectly uh, aligned and set. I, I think this is one of the most beautiful units I have seen. Here is the power transformer. Here are the, pow the power connectors, the power uh, switch that uh, uh, is switching the main lines for the transformers. Here, is, here are the bridge diodes, the power input, uh, several uh, capacitors. This unit is several years old. You can see that none of the capacitors is leaking or damaged. Uh, those, I think, are the voltage regulators, though I can't see really the part number. Here is the preamplifier part. You can see the Nixie tube in a, in a metal shielding. Let's open it and see the actual tube inside. Yes, here it is. Probably it is possible to replace this tube with a better or different unit, but I am not sure about it. Let's screw it back in. Here are the knobs for the equalizer and the dynamic part. Here are the UV meter and the output level. Here is a board for the uh, digital encoder. The only thing that I'm not sure of, and I don't know if I have the correct experience to tell, is the connection of the outputs uh, with those uh, cable ties. I have uh, really expected here to be some shielded connectors. Uh, but maybe this is something you might uh, expect in uh, such a unit because it's a really short distance and there shouldn't be much uh, interference within this uh, area because the whole unit is uh, metal shielded. You can take a look at the beautiful uh, switch assembly uh, with the LED light right under it so it switches on and combines an indicator uh, with a button. So my uh, overall impression is that this is a very solid and a very well built uh, unit. I'm using it for several months for doing some uh, voiceovers coupled with uh, a Shure BS7M microphone, so I have to really use high gains for this unit and overall it gives very impressive results. So, thank you for watching.